What's good, YouTube? That one eight two here, back again once again. And today, people, today we are here for yet again another Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon news and information theory slash idea discussion topic of interest video and today we are talking about the brand new alola region map which we were generously gifted in the most recent trailer which of course i will link in the description below in case you've been living under a rock and haven't seen it yet but there are all these questions before from the first trailer that came out a month ago about whether or not the alola region would be multiple islands what was going on with it did all this good lovey dovey bullshit but now we know that there are multiple islands and there are multiple things that we need to pick apart. So if you guys are hyped for some more Sun and Moon information, and of course if you're a proud member of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. But to join us in breaking down this here map, we are joined by Cuddle of Death. What's good, YouTube? It's Cuddle of Death here. Hey, happy day. Woo! And I am super excited for this. Anything Pokemon Sun and Moon related and looking at this map, there is a lot of stuff maybe perhaps to talk about or even speculate. Oh my goodness, even to speculate. Ah, to speculate, ah, ah, yes. Okay, so before we got into this, Kristen and I sat down and came with a few topics of interest to speak on, uh, starting with the starting point itself. The most interesting of things in the game, I think the first item that we saw from the very first trailer is the one in the top left hand corner. You know what? We should just number these islands. Oh yeah, we really should. We definitely really for, should. For future reference, as we're talking in this video, I want you guys to know if we mention island one, it is the one on the far left. If we mention island two, it is the one on the top left. Island three will be the one on the top right. Island four will be the biggest one, the big island in the bottom right. Then Island 5 will be the man-made one in the middle. Uh, so, uh, I believe that our starting point is Island 2. Because uh, if you just tilt it a little bit, it looks exactly like the island that we saw from the first uh, uh, trailer when we received our starters. And of course, at the top of the little uh, mountain-like landscape, uh, the pathway, uh, is the, the little hut and the, I guess, like, fighting stage area, battling area that we saw at the beginning where we are gifted our starter Pokemon. DO YOU AGREE?! Yes, after after looking at it, I definitely do agree here, and I think it is fairly obvious, especially with the little buildings to the left of that, like, volcano mountainy area, too, that we saw in the trailer. So yeah, I agree. Are you talking about, like, the, uh, the, the strip? The, yeah. The, uh, I, I think that tall building is going to be a department store, but... I don't, I don't know. How do you feel about the idea of us revisiting islands? I, I feel like I feel like I'm jumping the gun a little bit here, but it's an idea that just came into my mind. And I know we sat down and came with a list of talking points, but what do you, like what do you think of the idea of? Like I said, I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but what if we started here? We had the first gym. We moved on to another island, kind of like kind of like um, in third gen, Petalburg City. How you went through Petalburg City, but you didn't take on the gym leader there yet. You had to come back. Uh, I think it's definitely a possibility and it's totally not going to get ruled out because, I mean, just like you mentioned third gen, there are several places where we had to revisit anyways for the story. Uh, as far as the gem goes, I still think uh, for Sun and Moon, they'll probably have like the first gem on the first island, yeah. maybe, which would be kind of cool. But like... I think that we're, we'll definitely be revisiting islands for story purposes. Well, the main reason I said it is because if that tall building in the middle there, if it actually is the department store, if it actually ends up being the department store, you wouldn't be at the department store by the second gym. Or at least we hope not because, yeah. oh my god, that would be so easy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that, that just wouldn't make any sense. So. I don't know, I think there's a lot of interesting things going on with this, uh, with, with the idea of the starting point. We're gonna come back and revisit again because we're, we're, we're pulling out points of interest first, then we're gonna go back and revisit each island individually. So the starting point, I think that's where it is. Um, obviously the, the thing that we speak about after the starting point is the end point. Kristen, where do you think the Pokemon League is located on this big beautiful map of ours? So, uh, as we mentioned earlier, each of these islands have numbers, and the one that I think that's going to harbor the Pokemon League is island number four, which is the lower right-hand corner island. There is so much stuff going on there. It has, like, a huge volcano. There's literally so much land mass, and just, it's, I don't know what's going on over there, but it looks like a party. So, I think it's going to have the Elite Four. <laughs> uh, I think... <sighs> I think that's, that's, like, I can't, 
argue with that logic just because there's so much that's going on over here but at the same time I, I don't know because my whole thing like the only place that could possibly be that would be on the top of that mountain well if you look below the mountain volcano thing if you you might have to zoom in a bit it looks like there's a little plate i don't think it's necessarily an, an elevator. elevator but it could be yeah and at the top of that, I mean, there's lots of stuff going on up there. So maybe that will take us up to the Elite Four. Maybe we have to go overcome some sort of feat. And, and you know, in all the Pokemon games, there's something dr drastic that happens. And you have to go through all this crap. And that looks like the final the final uh, journey for us. I don't know. The only, reason, the only reason I can't get with that is because that is clearly like an ice cap area of the region. And it doesn't make sense for our a tropical region to end in a cold, icy area. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like there's a temple of some sort up there or something at the peak of that mountain. But at the same time, I don't know. I just, like, I, I, I don't know. I can't get with that. I can't get with the idea that we're going to travel through this entirely vast tropical region just to take on the Elite Four uh, 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 shivering. You know, I, 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 I can't get with it. My opinion... I think that the Elite Four is going to be on island number three in the top right hand corner because if you look, uh, there is a like circular area, uh, what, is, what am I thinking of, like roundabout or yeah. courtyard or something like that, and the path leads into a walled area and it leads into a gate or a temple of some sort that is like an entrance into the mountain. I feel like if there is an area in the region that's going to be like the penultimate uh, for all trainers, you know, you would go through Victory Road inside this mountain and like the Elite Four of the Pokemon League would be at the top and as you can see there's smoke, there's steam coming off it, unless that's clouds on the map, I can't tell. But uh, it, it, what if it was like a volcano and the Elite Four was based around a volcano? What if, the, what if it was like a platform and you fought the champion above the top of a volcano? That <laughs> cool, I would love that. I would love that a lot. I don't know. The only reason, only reason I say that is just because of the uh, the um, the architecture and the style of that area. Not so much because like, oh, it's gonna be on island three because X reason here. Just, I, I don't know. No, I think the most coldest, hardest trainers are obviously at the top of that volcano. Okay, icy you, you area. Out, you wanna out just a bit too much. You wanna out just a bit No, too maybe. Much. Oh my god. What if we got it? You know, like, uh, <laughs> sorry, I got really excited. What if we had another trainer, like, right at the end of the game? And I know this is just me wishful thinking here that was on the area. So maybe you are correct about the Elite Four being on Island 3, but I would be so excited if we had someone like Red on Island number four at the top. That would be the perfect place. What for if someone it was like Iris? Red. No. Irish, Iris is like, she's a little, she's a little sand negro, she's a little sand <laughs> nigga, she's got a little bit of island in her, you could tell just from looking at her, what if Iris was like, she went to the Alola region, she went back home, because obviously Drayden is not Iris's, I don't care what you say, that's not relation right there, mm -hmm. I don't care, she's not, she is not from his loin, I, it's not, I don't, I don't believe it, Iris. I don't believe it, but I could see, I could see Iris making an appearance in this game. Well, maybe making an appearance, but I thought you meant like if we did have another red, I would not want it to be Iris. Who would I it want be? it to be Well, I want it to be a completely new character that has a similar personality to Red, no, not it necessarily can't, it can't be a completely new I don't I can't see it being a completely new character. If it's gonna be a character it's that, looker. that <laughs> it's looker. I was gonna say if it, it's gonna be a character that holds the same meaning and symbolism of red, I mean why wouldn't it be a previous trainer? I'm telling you, it's Licker. He's got amnesia, and then he's going to have some PTSD stuff. Okay, moving on. <laughs> we have the third and final point of interest in the map, which, again, might be us jumping the gun a little bit, but uh, there is a fifth man-made island in the middle. And what, what do you speculate this island is going to be? Honestly, because it's so random and zooming in on it, it has, like, a huge building. I think that it could be, like, a little battle resort, battle maison, battle insert name here thing, like, after game stuff. That's all. That's I all mean, I could see that as well. I'm not going to roll it out. But uh, the idea that I was speaking about before as well is what if that is the Pokemon League? Would you be what mad? If, I'd be mad. What if that's the Elite Four? I'd be mad. Why would you be mad? Because, like... 
I want it to be on something a bit more epic. And whenever I think of epic, I would take Island 3 or Island 4 with the volcanoes or the, you know, the big mountainous areas. But if it was like this all nice spiffy place where everyone just seems so uptight, like I don't want to be fighting uptight trainers. I want to be fighting like elite four members that have traveled far and wide and they're not like... In okay, this you went in fifth gen. You went to the Pokemon World Tournament, which is all spiffy and everything. And you fought plenty of trainers that had traveled the world far and wide. I don't know. I I would just be I think irritated if that was the Elite Four area. I could it would like a World Tournament again would be really cool though. I mean, it could be it could be a World Tournament area. What if it is like the general? I think that's what we're gonna get in the next trailer. I just predicted it right there. I, th I feel like <laughs> we're gonna find out the evil team in this game. What if that is like their base of operations? It's like Sit a Dark Isle and Pokemon XD. What if, it, what if it is like that? What if you go through like the first three islands, you get your first six badges, and then you, you're fighting the team along the way, and it's finally time for you to go? Because, I mean, think about it. If you started on Island 1, you travel to Island... Or if you started on Island 1, I mean, Island 2, travel to Island 1, then to Island 3, there's a... Like, that's the closest point of... Uh, entry to that that man-made island is right there from island three so what if you on your journey went down there hopped on a boat skid across there took out the evil team and then went to island four and finished your your journey your adventure your quest whatever i don't know like it i think that that would be cool too it could definitely be like the perfect it's literally in the middle of all these islands or it's pretty close to a lot of them so it's like the perfect port area so you could do lots of crime there so it could be the evil team i think it definitely could be them mm. Well, with the three main points we want to speak about out of the way, uh, we're now going to break down each island individually, starting with island number one. Over here on the first island, and I'm going to try and zoom in as much as I can for you guys. I should have, you know, uh, uh, what's the what's the term? Uh, what's the term, Kristen? When it's, uh, uh, what is the term? <laughs> I was going to say, I can't help you there. When, I have when no you idea. Know, when you know what you're, you should have done afterwards. Uh, hindsight. Yeah. In hindsight, I really wish I would have just screen captured so you could see my mouse, but still, I'm going to zoom in uh, as much as I can, and hopefully you guys can get the idea of what we're talking about. But speaking on island number one, what is the main thing that you see? What is the main point of interest for you? Uh, the triangular temple-looking thing at the top of the plateau. Do you I think that's where we're going to encounter the legend of each game? Yes, I do. Really? Yeah, just look at it. It looks so weird and like out of place and there's not it doesn't look like there's really much town here There's like this little area that's got like docks and stuff on it But look at the lower right hand side of that particular um, Island itself. I don't know what those little dark things are the like little geysers and stuff But it's just got like a lot going on It doesn't seem like it has a lot of inhabitants and a lot of times that's where legendaries stay So I think that we could encounter it there. Um, actually Hold on. Hold on. Hold on I'm, I just loaded up the uh, the first trailer that we had because I want to go back and look and see when we're first introduced to the legends and it is on a platform-esque kind of thing hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna link you Kristen so that you can see I'll put it up on the screen for you guys of course watching but Kristen if you go to like a minute and 20 seconds that's when they introduce the legends and they're kind of sort of like there's like especially when you see Lunala it's kind of like a triangular <gasps> yes I think this is it let's see, see. What I'm saying like it's it's not the platform itself I'm talking about the, the behind Lunala it's actually like a triangular kind of uh, shape behind it so what if that is actually where you encounter the legend I, I think it would be the perfect place uh, based off of all the other islands and looking around like I said it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people or uh, places for a lot of people to live on this island, so it would literally be the perfect area, in my opinion, for like a legendary, because legendaries a lot of times are isolated, right? Yeah, I, th I think. Well, it was the exception of six gen. Well, we didn't see <laughs> we didn't see where they got the legends from. They just said that they got the the tree or whatever it is, or Eveltal's egg. We didn't see where they got it from. But besides that, most legends actually are secluded in fifth gen. They're at the top of Dragon Spiral Tower, and, and in Giant Chasm. I'm just talking about main series legends. Uh, in fourth and or in fourth gen, I mean, look at Giratina. Yeah, that, yeah. that nigga's literally isolated from everybody. <laughs> everybody, okay. period. So I don't know. I don't know. 
But I think uh, I think you're well before before you move on. I don't mean to cut you off, but I think you're right because looking at the island, they're really aside from the docks and maybe that that small area with the little uh, uh, square shaped thing at the, at the mouth of the the canyons. There really is no other area like compared to the other islands. There really is no other area that shows buildings or anything at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. That might actually just be the place strictly. I was gonna say for. Lunala, but at the same time, if it was that, in it, no, because that they're they're both they're both in the trailer they're both yeah. at the same spot. Yeah, you can just see the the triangular shape behind Lunala better than Sol Galio. So I mean I don't know I think I think it's what if I mean we always, I I brought up the idea of going back and revisiting islands, but what if this is the the last island you actually encounter? I could see it being that because maybe maybe we go from island to and who knows what the little thing in the middle is. We'll exclude that for now. So let's just say that's skippable. It won't be, but <laughs> we go from island two to three to four to island one. Because yeah, because I was gonna say it's obviously uninhabited for a reason. Yeah. So what if like everyone keeps you from going to that island? What if it's like ancient lore or something and. Uh, the evil team wants to get to it, so you meet them there, and that's when you summon the legendary Pokemon, and this and that, and this and that. So, I don't know. Aside from the the, the temple esque thing in the middle of the canyon, uh, you mentioned the giant tree. Yeah, the giant tree is actually really cool, and it's something that really sticks out. And I know it's probably just on the image, but there's either like some sort of rain going down on it. I don't think it's just clouds, but there's like something going on over there and it makes that tree stand out even more and look special. But why is it there? What is it? Harbor? What's going on? Celebi. That would be crazy. Ah, oh, that would be insane. I could see that. I mean, I don't know. It's just, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm using different Pokemon knowledge resources like mystery dungeon and stuff like that i mean that was I, I i joked about it and i said what if this was like the same region as super mystery dungeon was based in because you had to get the lapras pass or whatever to go from island to island or ranger to region to region i mean in that game there was a almighty powerful tree and spoiler alert celebi was involved now in this game we have a tree that looks very similar in design and you never know yeah it's it's there for something. I want to see that big tree actually be used for something. There's so many questions about this particular island just based off of the design outside of the legendaries. Like, even on, like, the lower left-hand side of it, there's, like, two little cliffs with a uh, with a cleavage going on. <laughs> like, why are those there? Well, there was two other, there was two other points that I wanted to speak on. Uh, number one, they have the, the additional side island down here that, again, we see no sort of housing... Or civilization on at all. That's where Looker's at. He's hiding. <laughs> Let him be down there. And we never have to visit it. No, I want to see Looker. That's I could see. Look I could see that as being like a. Uh, what was the? Uh, what am I thinking of in fourth gen? Or am I thinking of like Mew in third gen? Like how you had to go to a separate island to get a legend? Oh, there's like uh, like Deoxys and stuff too. In yeah, like what if that, what if it's one of those areas where like just far off. You know, you have to get a pass to get the boat to go down there or something, and you can encounter different Pokemon down there. They could do that, but with the introduction uh, in Auras of like Mirage Islands, I don't. Uh, I guess it's different for legendaries, though. Yeah, it's totally different for legendaries. Disregard that entire thing that I just said. <laughs> <laughs> so the only other thing I wanted to speak about with this island is automatically we saw four islands, and we assume that there would be two badges per island. But we mentioned how there was no sort of civilization or just anything at all on this island. Do you still think there are gyms on this island? Uh, no, I don't. Well, well all right, moving on to <laughs> island two. <laughs> I mean, well, wait, wait, what do you think? I mean, I, 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 it's one of those things where as I zoom in, I start to see little things and I'm like, that could be something and that could be something and that could be something, but I don't know, I, I think, like we said, the, the lack of any sort of civilization or people on this island just in general, I, I think it is one of those things where I don't think we will see any gems on this island. I, I'm, I'm honestly leaning more for this being a post-game, I don't know, because that's where the legends are at. If, if that's actually where they are with that temple, then I can't see it actually just being post-game altogether, but still, I feel like this is going to be more of a storyline-driven island, a storyline-driven place, like, it's going to be the climax of the story, that's why there's nothing else here on this island to distract you from it, it's, it's literally, its purpose is for just that, it's a, te it's a test, it's a trial, go through those canyons, make it to that, that temple area, that altar almost, and capture the legend. 
Yeah, I think it'll be um, either because I don't know because you know how weird it can be in the Pokemon series where like you can get seven gym badges then you go help out with a calamity or whatever it is with the legends then you go get badge number eight then you go to Elite Four blah 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 it'll, it I think it definitely won't be post game. Okay, so moving on from island number one, we're gonna move to island number two now. Now we spoke on this a little more general at the beginning of the video because we uh 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 <laughs> decided that this is the starting place of the game because obviously that's where uh, Professor Hala or Kakui, whichever one you wanna uh, say is the official professor in the game because. I, well, I don't know, maybe he's a retired professor, Professor Hala, but Hala is the one that actually gives us our starter Pokemon, and Kakui is the one that gives us the Rotom Dex. Supposedly the Rotom Dex, or supposedly just the Pokedex. Still up for question. But aside from the starting area of the game and the general uh, strip area with the with the uh, Pokemart, what do we see? What, what stands out to you, Kristen? Uh, the forest on the northern part? That stands out the most to me. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's just gonna be like our general like little forest there's gonna be like little crappy bug Pokemon in there actually I love bug types but like I'm just trying to figure out which way we're gonna go first are we gonna go um you know past the little hut area and head left or are we gonna go up and then somehow you get through that forest and you go around back and head down and then eventually you make your way over to the right so which... my question my question I mean, again I don't mean to cut you off but my question is where do you think the first gym is gonna be because if this is if we if we come to the collective decision that this is the starting area, where is the first gym gonna be? I think it's is is it? I think it's gonna be in a place with the what we were referring to as like the Mart area. It's gonna be I'm, in this downtown district. I think so because remember that concept art that we saw of like the water gym i feel like the water gym is going to be the first thing that we end up in oh maybe not maybe that's on the other island oh god <sighs> what if that thing. water gym is the center fifth island it looks like a resort <gasps> oh my god that could be it that could totally oh my god now I'm so there's so many questions about this that could definitely be it this is making you mad <laughs> i think i think one of the things i think I've, i have two different areas where i think the gyms are going to be it could be both gyms we don't know how many gyms are going to be on each island now we have three islands to spread eight gyms across because we agreed that island number one doesn't have any gyms on it but before you before you jump before you pop off the two <laughs> the two things that are calling out to me actually there's three things that are calling out to me most on this there are a few different areas that I think the gyms could be at, but the first thing that's calling out to me is if you notice in that, that forest area, there's yeah. a pathway that goes behind it and leads yeah. that little outcrop on the top right of the, of the island. I think that has, it's, it's, why is it so secluded? Why is it that you have to circle around the island to get to it? I think that could possibly be a gym, you have to work your way up to it. Uh, I also think, and this is kind of the exact opposite, but I think if you see the volcano, kind of to the left of it is that green roof building. Oh yeah. I, I think that. that could be a gym because it's at the base of the mountain where you start at. You know, you can work your way down, training, yada yada yada, and as you enter the city for the first time, boom, gym. The other area of the map that really calls out to me is the side we can't see. Because we have this big, like, tree outcropping in the middle of the of the island uh, on the top of the I guess the peak of the mountain of the island but there's that entire side on the other side you can't see that's almost like a bay so yeah. I think I think you're right I'm just looking okay so the platform the platform that we saw in the trailer is that on the upper area right mm -hmm. below the tree area so yeah we would start there okay so uh Work with me here, guys. We start in that area. We start heading down the path to the right, and that's what you're talking about. Then you take a left, and then there's that little green building. So that would be the perfect introductory gym. I could see it now. Yeah. The only other place I could see a gym being is the little blue building at the very south of the island. It almost looks like a dock. Almost. That's probably just going to... It could be... But it's probably just going to be the place where they're like, hey, here's a boat, get on it and go to the to next honest, area. You might, you might be right because there really is no other area to, to enter or exit the island. So the only other building that really stands out is that pink one on the top left. But there are some people, I think, if my memory serves me correct, from the original screenshots from the first year, there are people saying that that was like the Slacking Motel or something. Hmm. Do you remember that? 
I think so. The Slacking Motel, because they had concept art from the first trailer that was released when Sun and Moon was announced. Then you had the actual first trailer for it, where we saw this island for the first time. There were people putting two and two together, saying that it's the Slacking Motel, and yada yada. So... I mean, it could definitely be a gym, though. We'll see! So, we we still want to keep in mind the idea of gyms. Well, we'll, we'll come back to that after we uh, finish each individual island, because we can talk about where each gym is going to be at, and yada yada yada. But, moving on to island number three... The islands get bigger. Island number three is chilling here, and it is... Actually, that's that's really hits it right on the head. This is a much larger island than the previous two that we spoke about. And there's a lot going on here. There's almost a downtown district of sorts. There's a lighthouse that I'm looking at. There is a uh, almost like, I don't want to say it's another Pokemon League S thing, but you see kind of sort of in the bottom right, there's that big red, like imposing building. Yeah. It looks like almost like like a, a hotel with towers or something like that. There's the the courtyard area with the, with the gate into the mountain, I guess you could say. Uh, there's the obviously that that big waterfall place that's in the top left. I don't even know where to begin. Kristen, what's the most what's the what's what sticks out to you? Uh, honestly, the thing that I noticed outside of the waterfalls because I want to work up there is the lighthouse. Uh, I honestly think that we're gonna be arriving on the lower left hand side there, as you can see, like the blue building that looks like our little dock where we pull up from. So I think we'll start there. But the lighthouse sticks out to me the most because there's like a little bridge down below where you can take a boat to it as well. Yeah, I think that'll, that'll be the port of entry, that small town that's down there. And you'll exit the town at the, at the, at the southernmost point. <gasps> and I think that's a forest. Because if you, if you were to go through that forest, you see kind of like directly to the right of the lighthouse, there's a road that, that starts there. It's on the other side. I think you would travel down through there go through the forest or whatever, or the mountain area, and come out the other side in that little downtown district kind of thing. And maybe that blue building that's directly to the north of the lighthouse is the gym. It could be, or maybe it's another port that will be closed whenever we get there and we'll have to do some other things like as we travel more through that island and deal with that and then we come back to the blue area after we've finished everything on that island to go to the next island. I don't know, it's just me like thinking way too much into things, but what if it's like that? I think this is another situation where we have perspective, but we can't see the other side of the island. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's there's it. that entire backside of the island where it's like, what if there's additional cities and towns that are over there? Because, for example, if you look at the Hoenn map, what's the name of the mountain in, in Hoenn? I can never remember it. Uh, it's, it's, um... Oh my gosh, it's... I can never remember. Right. I always want to call it Mount Ember, but it's not Mount Ember. It's Mount... Oh my god, what is it? That's going to drive me nuts. I can nuts. never remember it. But the reason I brought it up is because Fall Arbor Town in Meteor Falls is behind the mountain. So... Again, you know, it's one of those things where there could be something behind the actual mountain itself. This would definitely be the island that would probably have the most gems on it. If, if indeed the lower left or, or island number one does not have a gem on it, this one, because it's got so much stuff going on, there's lots of civilization. Yeah, like number four has stuff going on too. Maybe this one could have like three gems because, I mean, there is so much that we can't see. Yeah, on this well, one, like one, thing, one thing we were, we were talking about really is that uh, a lot of these cities and villages or whatever, they're very, very spread out. You know, when you look at these important landmarks, I mean, there might be little houses or towns that you or that you can't really see additional details because of how zoomed out we are and the perspective and whatnot. But still, like, if you were to look at this map, I would say there's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven possible cities, eight maybe, eight possible cities on this one island. That's kind of exciting because I know we can't see like the actual in-game stuff yet outside of what we've already seen so far, but I really hope that these games are absolutely enormous just because of that i want to do lots of exploring yeah but but that was like i was saying is there actually eight cities because there's like eight distinct groups of buildings or is it that you know this is one city but it's so far spread out uh and that that big red building in the bottom right i think it's going to be a resort of some kind because if you look at the beach next to it it looks like there's like chairs or umbrellas or something next to it mm -hmm. so i don't know it's up in the air the maybe other sleep port <laughs> <laughs> The other additional thing that I was that really pulled my attention is like island number one, island number three has a side island as well. 
off to the very top right hand corner of the map it's actually covered up by clouds and it looks almost as if there is a tree of some sorts on that island oh yeah it does i didn't even notice that before look at that little tree what's up with all these little trees just being all like introverted and stuff i don't know why the, these are two well the, the island next to island number uh the small island next to island number one is obviously a lot more apparent but this one is like intentionally covered up by clouds little wisps maybe, of the clouds and whatnot maybe uh we'll see some sort of you know of course we get our legendary trios and stuff like that and maybe they'll have something on these smaller islands and who knows how many we can't see and stuff so maybe there'll be something like that because i can't really think of anything else that would be going on on these little tiny little islands like that outside of those hmm. there's some food for thought legendary trio <laughs> So, if we moved on to the fourth and final island, the big island, the biggest island available. There's a lot <laughs> to take in here. There's a lot to take in here. There really is, like, especially if you're really zoomed in, there's so much stuff going on. There is. Uh, I think the port of entry is going to be kind of in the top right. Yeah, I agree. Building that's there, and there's a city. I think that's gonna be a gym. That that tower that's inside of that that lake area. I think that's gonna be a gym. I think if you continue to the left of the island, kind of north of the ice caps, that looks like a power plant almost. It could be. You said that you think that the gym is the tower. I actually think that the gym is the little building left of the tower, because like there's all those little houses and stuff there. But I think the thing at the top. Or right above those would actually be the gym. I think that something's gonna go down in the tower, but I don't think that that's gonna be the gym. That's a good point. That's an excellent point. I actually agree with you. <laughs> For once, I agree with Kristen. Wow. <laughs> the uh, the one thing that really stands out the most to me, aside from the obvious ice caps, because you see yeah. an ice cap in the tropical region, is the Attack on Titan esque city that's on the t <gasps> northernmost part of the island. Why is there an entire city walled off? Someone forgot to feed Aaron Yeager. <laughs> Why? Like you're already on an island, but you have you feel the need to wall yourselves off as well. As as well. As well. Yeah. Like, what? I don't understand what's going on with that. Is that a potential gym? You see there's the red building at the top? It could be. I think it could be because we were talking about the distribution of the gems on the islands, and since this one's so big and there's a lot of stuff going on, it could be. But like I think I think that there is something important that goes on there because the one thing I'm noticing, especially on this island, I can see all the Pokemon centers. If you look inside that walled city, on the right hand side, there's a Pokemon center at the bottom. If you look at the power plant S thing, there's a Pokemon center at the bottom. If you look on the ice cap, there's a Pokemon center at the bottom. You see the red roof? There's a lot of Pokemon centers on this one. Yeah, you see all the ones that are popping up now that you actually, that you're like, okay, maybe that actually is a Pokemon center. Yeah. Ooh. I want to know why they're walled up. Why is that little community of people walled up? What are they hiding from? Even if it is a gym or whatever, like, that's cool and all, but I just want to know why they're walled off. There's also, if you continue south from there, there's a little, like, island that's in the middle of a lake with, like, yeah. pillars surrounding it. And that's an, I think that's a forest, number one. I think that's going to be a spot for a legendary encounter of sorts. Because Celebi. <laughs> Everything is Celebi. <laughs> yeah. Because if you continue south of it, you see a path coming from between the trees past another Pokemon Center. And then we have a few islands that are just dispersed down there that you can surf towards because you see the ring of rocks that are surrounding it. But you can surf in and out of those islands. And you'll surf onto the next part of the island past yet again another Pokemon Center. And there's more towns and villages and just more stuff. Do you think on the southernmost tip of the island, that green roof building, do you think it's a gym? Uh... I want to say no, because usually, like, I, I just don't think it's a gym. I think that there would be more stuff around it to be indicative of it being a gym. I mean, if you look at Fall Arbor, not Fall Arbor Town, Lava Ridge Town, there was all yeah. but three buildings there. And Lava Ridge doesn't have a lot going on for it. It's pretty boring. So maybe, I mean, it could be, but it's just weird. It looks like, I mean, it, it's some sort of dojo-like area. Mm-hmm. That could be a fighting gym down there. It could they, be. They, they train in seclusion. 
They just need to put my dark gem somewhere in here. Okay, calm down. We need it. <laughs> so, aside from the obvious ice cap area, which we'll speak about momentarily, the only other area that we haven't spoken about is if you continue to the eastern side of the map, south of the original port city, the tower city we spoke about, there's like three white domes. What? Do you see? The eastern side of the map. Uh huh. Okay. And south of where? The original starting city with the tower. Oh, okay, yeah, yep. The three white domes. What is this? Is that this? a power plant too? Would they, I guess because they're on separate islands and stuff, I mean, they could have more power plants, but... I don't know. I really don't know what to think of that. That's weird. That's what I'm saying. Like the only thing I can think of is it would be like individual generators, but I think the original power plant we spoke about earlier looks more like a power plant than this does. So what could it be? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I seriously have no words for that. It's just weird. <laughs> the last thing on this island, uh, as we already spoke about, is the giant ice cap top of the mountain area. I think personally, I don't think it's going to be Elite Four. I think it's going to be just like in X and Y, how like the final gym was in was in Snowbell City. I think you're just gonna have a, a certain adventure that goes through this ice capped region, or this area of the region, uh, just for an excuse to have ice type Pokemon. Because where else are you gonna get ice type Pokemon in a tropical region? That's a good point too. I didn't even think about that. I'm still holding out hope for some kind of like. Not necessarily like the Elite Four champion or something, but after game, like I said, something like Red. Looker's gonna go, he's gonna get bad PTSD and we're gonna have to fight him. I could see I could see that happening on the far right side of the island. Do you see on the far right side of the island there's like a little beach? It almost looks like there's like a cave of sorts that could be nestled down there. I could see that being a thing down there. I'd be happy if they did that. I would freak out, I would fangirl so hard, I'd squeal. I would just be happy if they did something similar to what they've done in the past because it's only been done what once mm -hmm. yeah <sighs> well technically you're gonna be that guy in fifth gen you did go and fight cynthia yeah cynthia's pretty cool too but she's no red <laughs> so the final island that we need to speak on and we've referenced it time and time again is the man-made island in the middle and is it the the evil team base is it the battle frontier battle maison battle resort is it uh the water uh uh, resort that we saw earlier or in the in the um, concept arts or whatever what could it possibly be just floating here in the middle of the region what what could possibly be on this that's so important that it's man-made like I mentioned before it's literally at the perfect position to be like the port of like transportation of goods and stuff because yeah like obviously we like we're not gonna be doing anything with that but you know there's gonna be people that need their goods and stuff which means that there's a lot of business people there and evil teams like to attack businesses. We've seen this before, so I think that we're going to have some sort of encounter now there that we've talked more and more about it. It evil makes the most sense. Teams like to attack businesses? Yeah, like Silphco. Oh, um, true. Yeah. True, true. And it's, again, the perfect place for all these goods to go in and out, regardless of what kind of goods they're distributing here. That's the perfect area of attack for the evil team cut off the entire region yeah mm. no more food <laughs> mm. now speaking of cutting off the entire region aside from the five islands one thing that is very prominent on the entire map is you see a ton of boats you see little jets and wisps in the water and whatnot and Kristen is laughing at me because she thinks it's just aesthetic but to me it's one of those things where like Pokemon like there's a lot of times when they just they, there's bullshit but there's sometimes when it's too obvious it's too apparent. Like, they could have easily given us this map without going through the extra detail of adding five boats on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I think maybe it's... the Maybe what if they're, like, routes that you travel? Or what if they're symbolizing that you actually are going to take a boat from each island to each island to each island since docks are so, such a prominent thing on each island? I mean, it could be that. That would make the most sense is, uh, like... Just to have it there, because it's like, hey, you're going to be taking a boat to all these islands. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know how else you'd be getting around outside of boats, but excluding the, the fact that you're going to be getting around in boats. I think that they're there in this image, mainly for aesthetics reasons, because... Okay, well, what about their positioning? Boring. 
if you look at if you look at island number one, there's a boat oh, that's yeah. leaving that island. Oh. If you look at island number two, that boat clearly has a, a stream behind it that's leaving that port. If you look at island number three, there are two boats, one that's going around the top side of that fifth island, one that's going down south past that island, and then if you look at island number four, that boat is clearly going towards that port. Yeah, I mean, that makes a bit more sense now that I look at it. Hmm! <laughs> and you wrote it off! I did! You're I a did. bad Pokemon trainer! <laughs> I'm a bad Pokemon trainer. I I'll be okay, though. The final thing that we wanted to touch on, I know this video is pushing 40 minutes, but it's the entire region map we're breaking down. The final thing we want to touch on, and probably the first thing that a lot of people noticed, maybe not, and it was one of the things that I noticed, just because of the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire maps, is there is a ton of cloud cover. A ton of cloud cover. And I know there have been some people that claim to see things like there's a face in the top right hand <laughs> corner. If you look in the bottom left, I think there's a Mighty Ana chilling down there. You see that? <laughs> there's a, there's no. a Mighty Ana chilling down there in the corner. But still, for such a unique region, like it's it's so conveniently shaped and almost like a, a like a horseshoe shape. Like what if there is something that's down in the in the southern part of the region that we just can't see because of cloud cover? What if there's another island between not like big islands, like a side island between islands one and two in the top left. You know, what if there's... I, 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 wait, what if? What if? What if? I like the idea of that because that just means more adventure for me, more time to shovel into these games, and I mean, you never know what's going to be on them. Like, you really don't. It could be like the, like I said before, the trios. It could be, you know, after game stuff, after you've got, or whenever you get your national Pokédex, which is weird because they sh they've they already shown, like, Pokémon from all different regions, I guess, like, that are supposed to be in these areas, but there's got to be some reason for this cloud cover. Like, at least for the few of the islands that we can sort of see, but not completely see. They're kind of teasing something. Well, the last thing that we wanted to speak on, Kristen actually found this is someone on Imgur <laughs> uh, put together what they feel is a an accurate map to Hawaii. Does that make sense? Geographical, topographical map uh, of... Landmarks, landmarks in Hawaii. Uh, in Hawaii. And I'm not going to attempt to pronounce half the stuff on here. I can say Diamond Head. I know those words. Uh, but a lot of it seems to, of course, you know, it's based off of Hawaii, but if I knew more about the areas, maybe we could predict more of what's going to go on there. Like, what is the history behind Hanalei Valley? Since we were speculating about that tree, uh, you know, what's the history behind Diamond Head? I think I've actually been to Diamond Head before because I've been to Hawaii and I stayed in Waikiki and I think Waikiki is between Diamond Head and Honolulu, so... I, I, a little bit, I know, a little bit, I guess, but still, if I, I just wish I knew more about the areas and their actual history, because then I think more of our speculation could be more precise and less yeah. speculation. I've actually started Googling some of these places, because I personally have not been to Hawaii or anything, but it's interesting because, like, right now I just looked up Spouting Horn, which it says it's located in the Kaloa District. And it's known for its crashing waves, it makes like hissing noises, and these waves erode lava rocks on the coastline, which can create narrow openings. So that's actually really cool because those are, I mean, obviously to me they looked like lava rocks in the first place, but it's like, on island number one, uh, it just makes it even more interesting because of lava rocks, which I know there's already a lot of, I guess, volcanic stuff in Hawaii as it is anyways. But I don't know, I would just have to do some research on some of these areas to kind of put pieces of the puzzle together, I guess, mm -hmm. and see which island's going to be the most badass, what's going to have the coolest stuff on it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave a link to this image in the description below as well so you guys can check it out in more detail, but with that, I think we have thoroughly combed through most of what is available on this region map right now. I'm sure there are, there are different things that we may have skipped over or thought weren't important or just may have missed in general. Uh, definitely that is where you guys come in. If we didn't speak on anything that you were screaming at your screen saying, what about this? Let us know in the comment section below if there is any other uh, additional thoughts or ideas that you want to develop off of what we spoke on. Maybe we triggered something in your head. Then please let us know in the comment section below. That is the, I say this at the end of all these videos. This is the main reason why I do these videos because I want to spark that conversation 
conversation. I want to spark that discussion, you know, that, that nerdgasm moment where it's like, YES! I LOVE THIS SO MUCH! So, of course, let us know what you guys think about the Alola region map in the comment section below. And, of course, make sure you check out Kristen's channel, which will be linked in the description as well. But with that, it is time for us to get up out. If you guys are hyped for sun and moon, what? and of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm gonna about. Bye!